Hi, I'm going to talk to us about bubble sort. Bubble sort is a very elegant algorithm, but it's actually not very efficient. Uh, it's very basic. Basically what you do is you go through and bubble the larger elements across to the end of your array. Like so. Pick these up, you compare 9 and 7. Switch to 9 to the end of 7. Back down. Move to the next two, compare, move the larger one to the right. As you can see, as it progresses, smaller items go to the back and larger items go to the front. And we're done. This is sorting the cards with bubble sort. Bubble sort has a runtime of n squared. We had to make n passes for each of the n cards in the element. n times n, n squared. This time, we're going to look at the quick sort algorithm. So the quick sort algorithm picks an element as the pivot, and then you go through your array and figure out which ones are greater than or equal to your pivot, and then which ones are less than your pivot. So if an element is greater than your pivot, you're going to put it to the right of your pivot. And then if it's less, you put it to the left. So it ends up going out like this.
and it does it recursively so now that each side is bigger than or less than the pivot I then sort each side so to start we will look at the left side those that are less pick that pivot then pick this pivot And again, it does it recursively. Over here is already done. However, there's still much more work to do over here. And that's quick sort. The runtime of quick sort on average is in log n. However, in the worst case scenario, which actually ends up being a sorted array, it's n squared. Alright, the next sorting algorithm we're going to show you is bucket sort. Bucket sort is a unique algorithm that runs in almost linear time. Uh, we'll explain at the end how it's not quite linear time. Um, but for bucket sort, you need a secondary data structure. Here we have an array. This is kind of our makeshift array here. Each of these is um, a bucket we can put items. And what you do is you go through the array and first put each of the items in its perspective bucket. So you go through, so five, you have a bucket for five. Once you place them in the buckets, you'll go through, starting with your lowest value bucket, and rebuild your array. Just like that, it's sorted. So the runtime for this algorithm is n plus k, n being the amount of elements in your array, k being the range of the elements in your array. So for this, our range was 2 to 10, a k of 9. So the running time would be n, the amount of elements, plus 9, which is usually linear time. However, for certain data sets, if your range is much larger than the amount of elements in your array, you could make the runtime of this algorithm much slower than, say, quick sort. Another thing about bucket sort is that your secondary data structure should have constant time access to each of the buckets. You notice when I was putting the elements in the buckets, I didn't scan through. I knew exactly where to put them. So something like a hash map would be very useful for this. <laughs>